What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. Welcome back to EA Sports UFC 2 Female Fighter Career Mode that we are doing. I hope you guys are enjoying this series thus far. Uh, if you are, it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button. Let's try and go for 500 on this video. Uh, when we left off, we just won our quarterfinal fight. We're moving on to the semifinals. We've been training a lot harder getting that full attribute upgrade, the third tier attribute upgrade. It's a good idea to take advantage of that early on. Oh, I'm facing Bodulov? I thought I was facing... I was facing David, I thought. It said I was facing her. So what's the difference? That's weird, because in the, in, the, in the settings there, I have a choice? I've already fought her, though, so... I think I might face Jenna David, because that's, that's who I'm supposed to fight right now. It's not like you gain any bonuses from fighting these people yet. So, anyway, that's strange. So, let's get to training. Let's start busting and flusting, grinding and finding. I might go ahead and roll with some kicking power. Maybe just get that up a little bit. Because I do kick from time to time. The kicking power is tough, but I'm usually pretty good. So, let's go for the medium skill. Today, kicks and knees only. Beautiful work. That's a good stance. That's it. Look for it. What are your feet doing? Excellent job. Way to plant on that. There we go. Here we go. Good stance. That's the one. Oh, man. That's awesome. All right. You know what? I think I might take the B. It's not perfect. Not bad overall. But I don't have a ha I don't have enough speed in my punches and kicks for that to work, and my stamina's got to be a little higher. But I will take the power, get that a little bit higher. I ended up kind of flopping it a little bit, so I'm not totally happy about it. But it is what it is. Um, the speed is the speed is actually already pretty good, but I can always up that, which I think I might. I think I might up that with a hard, because I know I'm good at this. Today we'll work on reaction time. I want you to blast that bag off the chance. Find your rhythm. That's the there you way. go, got some speed there. Push, push, push. Good work. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Let's go. Wait to be accurate. Let's pick it up. Perfect Same exact job. punch. Probably one more one oh, more kick. Oh my god. Still got it. Still got it. Nice. We got the hard for that dealt with early on so our speed is going to be good so we can sim the speed and we got that big ass boost that we were wanting i don't think we're going to get the and we got no injuries from it either look how high that went up good god it went up by like what was it it was a 67 so it went up by about 10 on each damn i'm very impressed with myself um i don't know if wait did i do a medium yeah i did a medium It'll be impossible to get that third level. So I just got to look at what I want to upgrade. This will give me a body protection. This will give my toughness even higher. I only managed to do a medium on the takedown. But toughness might be a good idea. I think I want to work the takedown a little bit higher. I know it won't be as good as that, but I think I'll do that. I'll sim that. Take the plus four to toughness, which is now at a 64 overall. Stamina is a 68 overall. So considering we're not even out of the tournament yet, I'd say we're doing pretty damn good. We took we lost a bit on clinch throws. So I think we should we should do some training into clinches next. But I want to get a win via submission. I think that'd be awesome. Just gotta you just gotta finish the whole sequence. All right, I'm excited. We're going to come out all gangster. As soon as this girl does. When we get pro, I'm going to see if she still comes to the ring that way. And if she does, I'm going to have to change it. Because that is too lame.
Wow, she's really taking her time. Jenna David from San Francisco, California, a Taekwondo fighter. Here we come out all thug as hell. Seriously, I don't like that. It's it's getting a little stupid. I won't be able to deal with that every single time. We're ready though, we're ready. Yeah, I, I may have to change that. Even though that, that backflip off the cage is cool. I got a huge height advantage on her and a reach advantage of a 68. That's pretty remarkable. All right, girl. Let's do it. Wow, look at the height difference. Got to watch the kicks. Oh! I screwed that up. I got her though. Posture up. I want to do top mount. Damn. She's not protecting herself. What is this? Girl, are you kidding me? Damn. He has to stop it. He had to stop it. Holy! It's that ground and pound. It's just too easy. Woo! Brutal. I want something a little more interesting though. Her power is definitely not as strong as her daddy's was, because I was knocking him out from the standpoint. By TKO and moving on to the finals. That huge height advantage. I'm surprised 5'9 is the tallest you could be as a woman in this. Alright, well, I'm not complaining. It was a very uneventful fight, though. You guys have to agree. All right, I'm facing Franks. Wow, I thought I'd be facing Bolgelov. Oh, we got two orange trunks. Two orange trunks for the win. Team Wideman is doing work out here, guys. All right, the finale. You're a TUF finalist. This will give you a boost in fans, increasing your popularity in the UFC, and extending your longevity. Just don't go get ahead of yourself. You still have one win to go. Thanks, Wideman. We got to train hard. All right, Elizabeth Franks. She's got a terrible stand-up, but she's good on the floor. Makes me wonder if I should train my stand-up for the time being, just to get that up there, you know? This will be my first official win, too, because this is the final. So we fight actually in UFC. So I think I might go ahead and work my stand-up. That speed is actually relatively fast. I ended up, didn't I end up doing a medium for that? But I settled for a B. What do I do for this? Easy. I ended up settling for a B as well, but that's because I'm not good enough yet. I don't know what I want to do at the moment. I would like to work... Maybe I should work this. My blocky and my kick speed. Or my, my movement, sorry. I'll go with the medium for now. Just for now. We're going to work the striking defense today. Got to move with that. Nice job. Elbows in. There we go. That's it. Stay on your toes. That's it. Back down. Nice and tight. That's 
what I want to see in there. Five seconds, come on now. Perfect work. Good eye. That's all I need. I'm backing off. Nice. Those parries really boost your score, hey? Awesome. I was using parry wrong the whole time. It used to be different in the last UFC, but you have to hold down your blocking, blocking high and low, and they have to hit X and circle based on where they're kicking. So we ended up getting that, so that'll help us out. We ended up getting the A. In the blocking, we've never gotten an A ever, I don't think. Even in the last one. So that'll be handy for later. I think I only have one more. Tra no, I still have two. That was my first training. I'm sorry. All right. So I said to myself, I was going to work the clinch. I don't know. Take down defense, maybe? I'm pretty good at these. I might be able to do this. So I'm pretty good at blocking them. Defense. Let's get on top at all times. Next. Perfect. Next. Nice. Good hips. Come on, girl. Way to use your head on that one. That's Come on, it. girl. All right, she got me there. Let me up. All right, we're up. That was a waste of time, unfortunately. Here we go. Damn it. I don't know how to block those ones. Good hips. That's it. Beautiful hips right there. Great job. Block that. Beautiful. That's it. Beautiful. 600. Go. 650. 700. Oh, I couldn't get that one. Great work. There. How'd I do? Yeah, I got the A. Nice. First time out. I was a little concerned, but doing those parries or whatever really... Yeah, that's a pretty easy one. So we have the hard parry done now. Look at that boost, guys. So our stamina is already at a 71 overall, which is pretty remarkable. But we got to get something else boosted. What's next? I can get another stamina boost. These two both do stamina, except for this. I think I got to get my body upgraded. I, I mean, I don't get punched in the face that often. And this would really help my stamina as well. And I currently don't have any damage on myself. But maybe doing this would be a good idea. Because my submissions are pretty good. I've already done a hard. Well, that'll actually get me the complete stam body and stamina. Oh my god, I have to do this. And it's still a low injury chance. Oh my god. I am taking this money. So my body's at 52. My stamina's at 75 overall. Wow, this is great. This is for the final though, guys. Keep that in mind. But I'm excited. Look at this. Getting everything going. I'm really good on the floor. This will just accentuate it. Coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Razor and Napalm. Here we go, guys. First time for Ripley, Razor Ripley, to be in a UFC arena. She's probably going to come out all gangster, Nathan, but I really hope not. Coming off what she calls the best training camp of her life. And she's ready to enter the octagon and leave with a victory. I don't know, man. I this think mine was better. A very well-rounded mixed martial artist. And the advantage to that is she's comfortable no matter where the fight takes place. If her opponent wants to stand, she's comfortable there. If her opponent wants to try to take her down, she has excellent defense. If the fight goes to the ground, she has an excellent ground game. So she is fully well-rounded. And because of that, she is much more confident no matter where the fight takes place inside the octagon. Here we go. Oh my god. Razor. She comes out dancing. Battle inside the octagon. She is coming off what she is calling the most focused training camp of her entire career. That has this to change. Camp, that is so lame. She zeroed in on her conditioning, on her cardio. She felt that was something that was lacking in the last fight. And tonight she said, I can go five rounds if I needed to. 
This girl is such a well-rounded fighter. She has a full arsenal of techniques at her disposal, and because she's so well-rounded, you never really know what she's going to do. Excellent takedowns, but excellent striking as well. Very good submissions, very good submission defense. She literally can do it all. Our tale of the tape. All right. This women's bantamweight battle. Razor is 20. Napalm is 25. Razor is four inches taller. She will have a six-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, these two fighters will be competing tonight in the Octagon to determine who will be the winner of this season's Ultimate Fighter. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA. Now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 132 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Razor. And when the action begins, on the in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. All right. I'm ready. First and official fight. Here we go. This fight. Let's do it, girl. Who will be caught? The next Ultimate Fighter. Big shot with the straight. Damn it, not. Nate Palm with a good kick to the body. Found a home for that. Nice, oh, nice. leg kick. And Whoa. again with the leg kick. Razor's cheek looks like it's cut and starting to bleed. Wow, really? Already? Very good exchanges here. That punch had knockout written all over it. Got her. Oh, and Toss her up. Big oh, shot. that was a hard one, Mike. Working the side. She moves the side control. Big punch. I want to keep this moving. Yeah, the mount. Full mount. Getting the arm. Oh, she blocked the arm bar. Took the back mount. What's going on here? In half guard now. Oh, we got out and of that. Back up. I got to work on that. Nate Palm with a good jab. Nice job with the roundhouse. That left misses. She always runs away. Good, good block. For now. Nice roundhouse kick to the bottom. Whoa! And working at the takedown again. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. Just over two on the clock. Going to half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly working the side moving, control. Constantly staying busy. Trying to go to north south. Beautifully executed sweep. Damn. Single. Oh, he's trying to go for the submission. Half guard. Perfectly timed sweep. Oh, I like that. Under a minute. Whoa. Head kick. That huge kick to the body was blocked. Swing and a miss. Oh, it's so frustrating. Bringing her down again. And Joe, there's another nice takedown. Outstanding job with the takedowns tonight. Absolutely, Mike. Sweet reversal. I got in it. Good hammer fist by Razor. And the end of the round. Damn. I'm going to get some serious points for those takedowns, but she came back with her own, too. We're actually going into the second round, though. I'm trying to take her out via submission. Here we see a beautiful take. I'd like to unlock more takedowns. Like maybe like a and power here's bomb. Another perfectly executed takedown. 
That's pretty sweet. All right, here we go. Round two, baby. Round two. Napalm gets nailed by that head kick. Oh, left hand. Nice body kick. Napalm with some solid kicks. And another big kick. Hard right to the body. Getting that body going. Trying to get a single. Once again. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. We're gonna side control. Razor gets side control. Trying to side saddle. Got the submission. Holding that front headlock position. Oh, she got out of it. She popped out of the submission. Try again. Oh, she got out of it. Right to half guard. I don't want to posture up. I want to. I want a half mount. Knee palm with a punch to connect. Side control. Trying to get in there. She transitions to full guard. There we go. Side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Ah, nice sweep. Very good move. Yes. I'm keeping you here. Holding that front headlock position. Oh, uh, it trolled me. Submission. Trying again. Because I'm in a different corner. How did she get free of that? Holding that front headlock position. All right, all right. She escaped the choke. Trying to take the back here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Let her up. No, keep her on the back. Oh, she got out of that. She's inside control. North South. Anything I can do here? In half guard position. Nate Palm's right eye is looking pretty swole. Man, she's got some. Uh. Back in the half guard. Razors back in half guard. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh oh. Getting the arm bar. Here we go. She's got a submission. How does she get out of that? Full back. Oh, big right. Oh God. That's that's it. Whoa. I was working her. KO just as the round was ending. I wasn't expecting to get that. I was trying to go for submission. I'd like to work on my submission offense, I think, for the next fight. She just collapsed. That's where she was vulnerable, so I took advantage. It. Check it out here. Bam! Ooh. Nighty night. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Right on. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And now, this season's ultimate fighter, Phantom Weight winner, Razor. Razor. Winner by knockout. Razor Ripley. Look at her jamming out. That has to change, though. That really does have to change. I wish that, you know, it was like my, you know, I was there as dad. So first official fight, and I've won it. That was a really good one. That was a, that was different. I almost had her in the submission a couple times, but she kept slipping out. Well, that's the winner. I love it. The Ultimate Fighter. Congratulations on winning this season of The Ultimate Fighter. Now that you're in the UFC, keep an eye on your longevity. As you get deep into waters of into the waters, okay, as you get into the deep waters of your career, your longevity will affect how long you can stick around. Counter the effects of longevity and extend your retirement by gaining fans. You got it.
And because I'm, I'm training a lot harder at the start, I feel like I'll be able to upgrade a lot better. And right now, I don't have enough experience points to get anything. But we're out of the UFC now. Or, sorry, the Ultimate Fighter Challenge. We won that. And we're moving on to our legit career. That was our first official win. That was awesome. That was a good fight. It went along a little bit longer than I wasn't expecting to win it there. But it is what it is. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did... Be sure to hit that like button. Like I said, let's try and get this to 500 if possible. Favorite as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. Those are down below in the description. Great way to do that. Or a great idea to do that. You know, uh, behind the scenes looks. Exclusive giveaways. You know, a, a way to chat with me outside of YouTube. It's a fantastic way to do that. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link in the description as well for that. Spreadshirt shop. Go check it out if you're interested. Other than that. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much. We'll be seeing you in the next video where we actually start uh, our official UFC championship reign. Or not reign. So what am I talking about? UFC career mode. It actually goes on. So we'll work our way up the ranks and train like a boss. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks again, guys. We'll hand things over to Knox Hill. We'll see you in the next one. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute. Hold that style. It's style. Damn. Damn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat I hear them sirens, see shots flying So we driving fire back If they ain't vibing, lie with that Got me dressed up in all black What up, hood up and I see them haters Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard just like Darth Vader Players grab your respirators Night invaders get light sabered Mass on for the shooters Move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Still you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do so tune into that day and kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.